Welcome to Uncluttered and Unfiltered, the podcast urging you to let it go and don't look back with nationally acclaimed professional organizer, Christine Stone, and self-proclaimed hot damn mess radio and TV personality, Eden Kendall. Welcome to Uncluttered and Unfiltered. I'm Eden Kendall. And I am Christine Stone with Neatly Designed. I can't believe we are sitting here talking about the holidays, but this is... Our gift episode. And what we're planning to talk about is not just gifts you can give someone, but maybe alternatives to gifts you can give, some hacks, some things that you can save stress, money, all of the above, and also a fun alternative to giving gifts that we are going to employ right now. So shall I tell everybody about the little game we're playing? Yes. Okay. So Christine and I were having coffee, and we talked about how let's not give each other real gifts for the holidays. Instead, let's play this little game where you find something imaginary. It's real, it exists, but you just find maybe a screenshot of it online or you create it and you give it. You don't really give it, but money is no object. Which that's the part I loved. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if it if it's a dollar or a million dollars. It's a gift that you thought this other person could use, could want, would appreciate. I love it. Yeah. I, it, 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 and it costs it, nothing. It costs nothing, but I had so much fun doing it. I bet you did. I bet you, because you love giving gifts. I know you I do. I love giving gifts. And and so do I. So I, who should go first? Oh, you go first. Okay, giving you your gift. Yes. Okay, so Christine is a very busy woman. I know we're all very, very busy. And I think that if you had more hands you would appreciate it. Am I right? Like when you're Uh, helping someone organize, you want to be the brains, but you're also very hands-on. You get in there and you, you help, you purge, you take things out, you put things back and also around your own home. And you have a life and a family, soon a grandbaby on the way. You could use the help. I agree. You're probably not somebody in my mind that would enjoy having someone right next to you chatting you up constantly either. (laughs) Do I have you pegged? So far, you've got me pegged. So I'd like to introduce you to your new best friend. This is the NAO Robot V6. It's a $13,000 robot. Oh my God. That you can program to help you with everything, whether it's helping you at work, whether it's watching true crime with you. This is too good to be true. Yes, so you'll have a personal assistant that you can literally turn off when you're not feeling chatty. When you're not feeling like you want to have somebody else in the room with you. Do they clean like dust bunnies and stuff out? They do everything. If you program it, it will do it. And if that, if it doesn't, we'll upgrade it. Uh, Let's get you the next higher model up. Because money is no object. Because money is no object. (laughs) It would be my pleasure to upgrade you to the one that is $65,000. Oh, you're such a good friend. And it will hang your holiday lights. Oh my God. I am everything. in. I am in. That so, is hilarious. And you don't have to write me a thank you card because it will write it for you. Oh my gosh. It's the best gift That is ever. the best gift ever. And you know what? I believe you really did think about me when you were doing that. I so that's it's the thought, thought that you. counts. So there you go. I gave you a, a multi thousand dollar, several thousand dollars worth of thought. Oh, I love it. It's the best gift ever. You're Especially welcome. that I can turn them off when I don't want to hear. That's the part that I thought was so key. Well, okay, so for Eden, I really had so much fun doing this because Aww. I do love to give gifts, but I love to give gifts per the person. Like mm-hmm. I really take time to think what this person needs in their life during the holiday season. So for you, I said, you need just a break. You just yes. need a break. You just need a place that you can just take the bricks off your shoulders and relax. So I have hired a private plane. Thank to, you. You're so welcome. Because then I don't have to argue about what time to get to the airport. <laughs> right. But anyway, okay. So we have our private plane picking you up. And yes, I included your husband because I, you know, that's the kind he's of gal fine. I am. He's so fine. that way you wouldn't be doing this great experience by yourself. So he's coming to on your private plane. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So but then, I get to pick what time we leave for the airport. Yes. Last yes, minute. Absolutely. <laughs> But you know what? None of this will matter because it's a private That's plane right, that you've and you don't have to go through any of the TSA pre-check security. You just get right on your plane. Love it. So the next thing, you will arrive at the airport to a limousine waiting mm. to pick you guys up. And 
the limousine will take you to a five-star luxury resort in Napa Valley. Okay, I know. It's just, Napa. Okay. So it's a spa resort, and um, you will arrive to a personal staff waiting with champagne, and they will be at your in, in, it, disposal for the entire vacation. Okay. So anything you guys need, you kind of like ring a bell. Um, <laughs> Um, I have arranged at a local boutique for you to go in and pick out a few outfits for your stay in Napa. And remember, money is no object. Of course it is. Okay. Isn't. So you get to pick out whatever you want for your stay in Napa. Um, I have scheduled a custom private wine tasting for you. I know. This is like. You have outdone yourself. Thank you. And then you are going to cycle because, you know, at first I said, I don't want her to do any fitness. But then I thought, this is about her. She'll go nuts if she can't do something. Right, exactly. So I scheduled a cycle, the Napa Valley Wine Trail. Thank okay, you. How you're nice. welcome. So you will have a tour around the trails via a bike. Then I scheduled a scenic hike for you two little lovebirds and a picnic lunch prepared especially for both of you so you'll get some exercise in but then you could stop and quietly have a picnic lunch then i need to restore your inner balance by soaking in the hot springs have a steam a massage and of course reflexology for your tired feet of course of someone course. for my feet and then there will be a feast of food prepared just for you guys by the executive chef executive chef and right before you leave you're going to soar above napa valley in a hot air balloon before getting back on your private jet to come back here okay that part sounds terrifying but i actually think i would love it i think by the end you would love it i appreciate it thank you you're words so aren't welcome. enough well you know i wanted to include a little bit of wine in there because I, I know you like some wine mm -hmm. and relaxation because you work so hard and my goal from for my gift to you was to totally relax i love it if i can squeeze it all into one day that would be great oh no this is a whole vacation oh it's gotta be a whole week oh yeah i'm happy i love it and i hope you love your robot I you'll have to give robot. him a name i will give my robot a name okay but let's hope my robot doesn't replace everybody because i'll love this robot so much mm -hmm. that uh people will become obsolete because the robot won't speak but just get everything done <laughs> <laughs> you'll tune in next week to the podcast to be like i'm christine beep boop bop, right right bop, right exactly <laughs> it'll be like a sci-fi movie well we we had fun with that and maybe that's a game you'll play with coworkers or friends or family but in the real world you might be expected to give a gift you might be moved to give a gift you probably want to i know i love to so what are some of these gifts that you can give that will not go into the back of the closet for a christine stone of neatly designed to one day tell you <laughs> you've got to purge yeah, well, and of course, we discussed this before, but I'm going to say it again. Gift giving, it should be about the person and what they really, really would want or need, not just something that you've picked up that you, you know, you bought mm -hmm. 10 of and then they end up getting it and either trying to re-gift it, which means they have to save it to re-gift it, or it's something they only bring out when the relative comes to visit. Other than that, they don't like it, they don't want it, and it just becomes clutter in their house. So that, I think that's why I'm so in to really giving gifts that mean something, and because I see it all the time where people get burdened by things they just don't want or need. Do you have a starting point? Because if not, there's a bottom of wine sitting on our table but we can circle back to that or should we talk about it right uh, away? we can talk about it. you know why i've been doing this for years i can't tell you how long i've been doing this and what i do is before the holidays ever even arrive i pick up about 20 gift bags for wine champagne whatever it is it can be a non-alcoholic beverage but just i love to keep these on hand because they're great also for birthdays sure. anniversary whatever it's not just the holidays and then i had these gift tags made a really really long time ago and if they, you're watching on youtube you can see them they're yes great. and they last forever i think i got these like five years ago and i still have tons I left because they come in big huge amounts so they last you forever and 
that way you can also in the beginning of the holiday season pick up a few bottles of wine or prosecco or champagne or whatever it is and just put the tag on the bottle and put the bottle in the bag if you want to stuff a little tissue in but it's simple easy and something i say you can store in your on your gift shelf in your gift area where you keep gift wrap and gift supplies so that at the last minute you're not running around like a crazy person and everybody even if they personally don't like wine they'll save it and use it if they have a party at their house or you know give it to somebody else who does like wine so it's always a good gift to give and and what i like about that is Typically, the running around comes with the getting the gift bag yep. and a card. This way, you've got your label that you slip right over the yep. neck of it. And this one just says, Happy Holidays, and it's Very from you and your husband. And and then, if you want to get really personal, you can find out specifically someone's favorite drink. Absolutely. And then it's even more personal. And on that note, I will share with you that sometimes it's not even a personal favorite of the recipient, but if it's a personal favorite of yours, that carries a lot of weight as well. Yes. And I have a story to go along with that. My grandmother, who lived to be 95, Gosh. she was in her final couple of years. I want to say she was probably pushing 95 at the time, and I was visiting my Aunt Judy. And Aunt Judy said to my grandmother, mother, would you like your pink drink? And my grandmother, Nana, we'll call her, because that's what we call her, said, Absolutely. So here I am thinking pink drink, 95. I'm thinking insure, right. <laughs> you know, some kind of shake. So I went in the kitchen to help and it turned out to be this fusion liqueur called X-rated, oh which was gosh. a pink vodka drink with passion fruit and blood Ugh. orange and some other. It was delicious, wow. delicious. And what had happened was my grandmother and my aunt were at a, a I guess it was a, an organic store or not an, I don't know, they some kind of liquor store or something and they were sampling it and she loved it. Forget the fact that it was named X-rated with I know, X that's on so the funny. Thing. So anyway, what then happened next was I started gifting that drink to anybody who turned a significant age. Like when everybody turned 40, a lot of my friends got this bottle of X-rated and I said, it's for long life. My grandmother loved it until she was 95. So it had a little bit yes. of a significance to it. And um, same thing when friends started turning 50, get ready when they turn 60, I'll be gifting it again. Yes. So I just think that sometimes it, it, maybe it isn't so that it's so personal to them, but if you have something that's a story for you, like this is the, the, the white wine that we yeah. loved when we were on a, I thought you would like it as well. Yes. And that items like that, like recipes, like my mother is an amazing baker and she has so many recipes that have been in the family for generations and adding those into a book that you create yourself and giving that to your grandchildren is such a great gift. Like things that mean something mm -hmm. that have meaning to me are the best gifts you could ever receive. It may not be that it's the meaning for the other person receiving it. But if they love you, mm -hmm. the fact that it means something to you will mean something, something to them. To them. Yep. Absolutely. So sharing a story along with a gift can go a long way. And also I think any, if you get your hair done somewhere or you get your nails done somewhere or a foot massage or wherever, if you know your friend, your sister, your brother, whoever it is, likes a certain place that they go to all the time, it's a nice little surprise gift. It is. You know, to say, oh, I know you like to get your hair cut here. So here is a gift certificate to this salon. Having items they'll actually use to me is so much better than just stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes a long way towards saying if you're giving a gift card, which is a whole issue for you because yes. people feel like gift cards aren't thoughtful, but they can be the most thoughtful, thoughtful. gift. And I know that an organizer loves a gift card because it's not something that's going to sit on a shelf. However, if it's a gift card for a place that is inconvenient to get to or a place that you know you've never heard of or something then it loses a little something but when it's very personal to you especially if it's where you go to get your hair done you go to get your nails done or your favorite someone's favorite restaurant yes. i mean if you know that your brother and his wife like this restaurant they talk about it all the time that is like the perfect gift mm -hmm. to give someone for the holidays and they'll love it and appreciate it and think of you when they go there and use their gift card 
Mm -hmm. Or movie lovers. Yes. If they're a movie lover, a movie gift card, then that's an easy one to dress up because you just throw some movie candy and bag of popcorn in a bag and it's flowers. Perfect, flowers. I love flowers. flowers. Really? I absolutely, I always say if I was a millionaire, I would have fresh flowers delivered every single week. I, I just think flowers brighten your day, brighten your home, and they just... I don't know. I and mean, a holiday arrangement this time of year is a wonderful. It's beautiful, gift. and and also you know they have these you know once a month they'll get an arrangement sent to them or once oh. every six months you know you can pick how many how often you want it shipped. I just think items like that they're they're not just for the day they're throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, subscriptions are great. Yes, when it's to something that they will really really use. like. Yes. So that was another thing. And then board games. I don't know about your family, but we are board game junkies. And the reason why I have learned to love board games in the way I do is because they create memories. I mean, playing board games on New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, whatever it is, it just, the laughter is just hilarious. What are some of your favorites? Oh my gosh. I would put you on the spot, right? We played a board game recently at a friend's house and it's not the kind of game you'd play over and over again, but it was uh, something about a meme. And yep, you would, we played that yes, too. Yes, it's so funny. It's hilarious. It's very much like a lot of these games are derivatives of apples to apples yep. where you see or say something and then everybody has cards in their hand, kind of like Cards Against yes. Humanity where you yes. have to pick what's going to make the person choose your card. And this game was just hilarious. Yeah, I, I, there are so many that I love. Like in every, our, our kind of tradition is to always pick a new game every year. Mm -hmm. And I just think board games, I mean, any kind of game, card games, trivia games, anything where you're getting everyone talking and expressing their opinions mm -hmm. and acting out things, charades, any type of games like that. It's just funny. I mean, it's it just funny. Brings, it's fun. It's right, memories. Right, right. Exactly. And the kids... I say kids, my kids are older, but they love it too. So mm -hmm. it's like a family a family thing to do. Yeah, that is a terrific gift. Um, let's see, what else did I have on my list? Basically, any gift card. I'm going to go back to that, yeah, to, a you place, are, yeah. to a place where you know the person frequents a lot. I'll tell you, I, and yes, agree. I, I know that, like, for example, in my family, there are times where I will want something, purposely not get it, and then shoot a text message to my husband. But it's not the same when it's you open up a gift where you, but if he were to give me a gift card for a shoe store, you know, a running shoe store or something like that, then it's, he didn't have to think and know exactly right. what it is, but he, he knows that I'm always happy to have an excuse to go get some new shoes. Well, but sometimes it's, that's why a gift card's better because right. they don't want to see the disappointment on your face when you're like, those weren't the shoes I was thinking. Right. You or know, if it, and if then you don't exactly, want to hurt their feelings. But also if it's exactly what you chose in that right. moment and they give you just literally what you sent them, there's right. something to that. Too. Right. It's like, I guess I know what those are. Right. But if you just give me a gift card, then it's like exciting because I know I also have the shopping trip ahead right. of me to go. Exactly. The, uh, the other thing I was going to mention too about gifts, now it has escaped me. This oh, is the dangers is of a <laughs> podcast when you're over 50. It's like, you better write it down. Christine writes everything down. I do. Like, I have to, because I can't remember anything if I don't write it down. But I'll tell you, with the whole gift giving is making a list. I said this before. Mm -hmm. It's making a list of who do you need to give gifts, gifts for. Is it your hairdresser? Is mm -hmm. it your manicurist? Is it... The man down the street who likes, you know, a certain pie every year that you give him, keeping the list, it just makes life so much easier. And as you complete each thing, you just check it off and you know it's done and you don't have to worry about it. Don't ever underestimate the thoughtfulness of cash. Oh, God, yes. There are oftentimes, and my husband's grandmother did this so beautifully. She wrote a card once when she sent, I, I want to say the gift was to him, and he's an, an adult, so you don't usually send cash to an adult. And she wrote a nice card saying, I thought about it, and I thought about it. And I know that when I was your age, <laughs> right. what I would have loved to receive was just cash. Yep. And I do think she sent the cash in the mail, but uh, that's uh, another which thing. Which isn't good, but... Right. But, you, you know, yeah. I, think, I think that there are oftentimes a lot, you know, I have 
done that before too, where a trip, by the way, is always great for a family. Like we've had it where if we know we're going to be taking a trip, right. even if it's, maybe this is, maybe this is a little stingy on our part, but like, let's say we know we're going on a nice trip for springtime. We will package it up and put it under the tree. Yeah. Like as a, you know, with a, some printouts of tickets and whatever, like surprise, one of your gifts is that in the spring we're going here. And then I've taken hundred dollar bills and wrapped those up in little boxes like they would just, be a gift right, card because get, it's just sometimes it's just that feeling of guilt free money. And guilt-free also money. another thing that doesn't cost a penny, not a penny in, except you have to, well, I guess you wouldn't even have to buy a card if you didn't want to, but is writing a note to somebody how much they mean to you and how important you are to them in your life. I know when I get a card like that, I mean, it's worth more than a million dollars just because everybody wants to feel appreciated and everyone wants to feel loved and wanted. And I feel like when you get somebody saying, I don't know what I would do without you. You have meant this to me or that to me. It just, I mean, it it warms your heart, especially around the holidays. So it's not about the monetary value of something. It's about making someone feel loved during the holiday season, I I think. Mm -hmm. Another, Another thing that has been seen as an easy way out or a cheap way out is a coupon book. But there are a few things that you could put in a coupon book that aren't that, that it would be truly appreciated. And I'll tell you the number one thing for me, saying you're going to wash my car, take it, vacuum it, wash it. If somebody gave me a coupon book of, now granted you could go to a car wash and buy that, but I'm saying like if my husband were to say to me, because he does this for me sometimes and it's like my love language. You mean him handwriting a coupon book? Yeah. Oh, I thought you yeah. meant like going to the car wash. No, like I remember getting, they used to have those right, big books. And I'm like, you, Eden, it's called gift cards now, but no, uh, no, no, no. I mean, got it. But although that would be fine, just getting it from the, but like he will take my car on a Sunday morning sometimes and he'll just run it up to the car wash and he'll vacuum it out for me. Oh my gosh. And see, that's a gift in itself right there. That's a huge gift as opposed to, you know, when you get like five back rubs, you know, come on, that's a cop out. Right. Right. So I like like that. that. Yeah. There are certain things. My son gave me one for a home cooked meal. Now when, when a, 20 something year old says he's going to come over and cook you a meal. I wouldn't That's believe it, but good. anyway. He did it. No, he, he asked. <laughs> really? Yes, he did. That's I think I had great. to pay for the groceries, but. Wow. That's still, sweet. You know, it was very, very sweet. sweet. Very sweet. So I think, I think what we're getting to here is it doesn't have to be a high level expense. No. It doesn't have to be something that you're racking your brain for weeks and weeks on end. Or that causes stress. Or that causes stress. Not just stress before, not just stress during, yep. but stress six months later when you can't bear to part with a piece of crap that somebody gave you. And I'm sorry, I know that's <laughs> wrong, but you know, there's the gifts that you give to somebody that are just the gesture. And then there's the gifts that right. are from the heart. Right. That are well thought out. And that's, that's as the organizer in me, that's what I see in my job all the time. So that's why I'm kind of passionate about simplifying your gift giving, making it less stressful and making it meaningful. There's a, uh, there's always something I'm getting from when it comes to the holidays from Etsy, because I always find something personalized that somebody needs to have because my daughter is so quirky. So she'll find things that she just loves and you can't find them anywhere. Yeah. And you'll have to go have somebody make them specifically. I mean, these are the kinds of things that if you haven't thought of them by the time so, you're hearing this, oh yeah. that ship has sailed yep. as well. So yeah. anyway, but, but let's get back to this, um, this vacation I'm taking and your robot. <laughs> I think I think that that's another way to go to just you I know, think that create was great. an imaginary and I, gift giving. I had so much fun creating that. I know. I, I feel mean, like a you lot planned a trip that you and I could go on to. No offense I, to my husband. I know, but you know what's funny? Take out all the fitness stuff because you know me. I'm not <laughs> cycling around Napa. No offense, anybody, but you know that's the Eden and Christine of both of us. But, yes. But I think doing that just even on Christmas Eve, saying okay, money is no object. Yes. Go. Go. What do you, you get? Know? What do you want to get me? If <laughs> money be- were no object, here's what I would get you. I think that really shows 
Some, I, I mean, it's just a, it's just it's, fun. It's fun. It's a lot yep. of fun. So let's talk about some some uh, accounting here, not accounting, uh, b- paperwork, the, the stuff that we're supposed to stay, say at the end of every podcast. So let's do that. First of all, I got to tell you where I'm loving life right now. Over on our Facebook group, Uncluttered and Unfiltered Ladies Over 40. They're great. Everybody is posting memes and 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 experiences and supporting one another and wishing each other I well. I love it. It's great. And sharing symptoms they might have experienced from menopause or just it, there's nothing too personal on there unless you want it to be yeah i love it i think it's great i mean there's so many different ways to follow us instagram neatly designed youtube neat uh, i'm sorry not well those neatly. are all good too though uncluttered I'm, and unfiltered mm-hmm. when you have so many things going on you start to say so following us on uncluttered and unfiltered everywhere but instagram. also neatly designed that is christine's organizing business and it is really fun to watch and her do some of these videos. Uh, videos. They're really great. And then, Thank you. Uh, so again, unclutteredandunfiltered.com, uncluttered and unfiltered on Facebook, on Instagram, and the private group, on which we will instantly invite you to be a part of yes. once you apply. It's just uncluttered and unfiltered ladies over 40. And we lowered that actually. Yeah, we recently. had to. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Also, like, follow, subscribe. We're on YouTube as well. And I guess that does it for this episode, right? Yep. Everybody, so, get get your Christmas shopping started, your Hanukkah shopping, and get ready for the holidays. And remember, you can still, even during the holidays, you can let it go. And don't look back. 